Get a baby.
Hey, welcome back everybody. So I'm out here splitting some wood today. It's actually under 80 degrees or right around the 80 degree mark. And that's the first time we've had that in months. So trying to dodge a little bit of rain and get some of this wood split. I've actually got a guy coming to buy some wood, hopefully here in a few weeks. And he has told me that he wants to fill up his long bed pickup in a 16 foot trailer. So fingers crossed that he comes and does that. That way I can get rid of a lot of this wood over here, either in this stall or over there on the other side of the yard in the woodshed. That would be really nice if he comes and does that. But while well, I caught a break in this weather, I said I'm gonna go ahead and split some more of this wood. And a lot of this wood that I chopped up the other week, it's hard to believe, but this tree has only been down right out of year. So the year anniversary was just a few weeks ago. And it's already starting to rot. A lot of this wood that I'm splitting is starting to have that spongy feel. So some of it's starting to rot. So I want to get it split and I'll get rid of the stuff that's too spongy. There's no need to keep stuff like that around, but that's actually what I'm starting to deal with. I'm starting to deal with rotten wood with some of this stuff. And I'm really surprised that this stuff is, is rotting as fast as it is because we've had such little rain this summer that I'm kind of just shocked that it, that it's starting to do that. But kind of is what it is. That's the, way, that's the way it goes with pin oaks. It's just not the most resilient wood. So and that's what I'm dealing with right here. Let's split some more wood. Would you look at all those muscadines? So me and Tony, probably about a year and a half ago, we really cut these vines back, basically all the way to the stumps of them. And they regrew over the last year and a half. And that's what we have. So here in about a month or two months, those will be super ripe and ready to go. But I mean, just take a look at how thick and how many bundles of muscadines are up in here. I mean, I am super impressed with how these vines regrew 
over the last year and a half. I mean, there's just bunches of them everywhere through there. And then I am ecstatic with how, how many are growing in there. I mean, just to think about how far back we cut these and how much of the vines that we took off. And then not to mention the tree fell on half of it and crushed the other end down there. And they're growing just as good down there after being crushed by a giant oak tree. Just something to, just to marvel at. And I'm really appreciative of all the hard work that Tony helped me do to get these things back to where we're at. But if you made it this far, I wanna go ahead and tell you thanks. Appreciate it. Leave me a comment on what I should do with some of these muscadines here in a few months. Should I make something out of them or just eat them straight up? 